Good afternoon and welcome to the Crown Hall Arena, or as you and me will know it, Scotland here in Rochdale for the second game of the 1895 Cup between Rochdale Hornets and Halifax Panthers, Sunday the 4th of February 2024. And Halifax looking to avenge last week's defeat against Oldham in a big performance against a traditional derby side in Rochdale Hornets. Halifax lineup first and foremost, number one, James Woodburn Hall, celebrating his 28th birthday earlier this week. Then number three, Zach McComb on the wing, Ben Tibbs, where 17 on the other wing, on the wing. Ben Crooks at centre and Greg Eden where two on the other wing. Louis Euphray and Joe Key, six and seven. Then a front row of Adam Tangata, eight, Adam O'Brien, nine, and Ryan Lannan, 15. Back row. 11 and 12 in Ben Cavalier and Matty G, but Connor Davies on number 19 comes in for Jacob Fairbank, who drops onto the bench. Fairbank wears 13, Tommy Mum wears 20, Kevin Leroyer wears 31, making his 100th Halifax appearance, and Gareth Widdop making his much anticipated debut for his hometown side off the bench, wears 23. The Hornets line up with Greg McNally wearing one, Tom Brearley wearing five, Joe Hartley wears four, Luke Forber in 21, and Dan Nixon in two. Halfbacks, Martin Rinyard and Lewis Ells wearing six and seven. Kenny Baker wears eight, Aidan Roden wears nine, and Luke Nelms, x fax player, wears 10. Back row for the Hornets, number 19, Conor Ratcliffe, 18, Dean Meadows, and number 13, Anthony Boardman. On the bench for the Hornets, number 14, Matt Wilkinson, 17, Ben Killen, 11, x fax man Ben Forster, and number 16, Jordan Andrade. 18th man for both sides, fax number 21, Ollie Davis, and number 20 for the Hornets, Toby Brannan. And referee today is Mr. Ryan Cox. And there will be a minute's applause before the game. Well observed, minutes of applause there for the passing of the Rochdale MP. And it will be if that's the kick off. Playing right to left. As you look. And Joe Keys it will be. If anyone really needs a big game today, it'll be Joe Keys after last week. He kicks off. It's a great kick off as well, spilled backwards by Els, but well picked up the in goal and it's three man welcome committee in the shape of Tangata, Tibbs and Matty G looking to restrict the yardage here and Jufre does well on defence held out by G once more take it down number 19 Conor Ratcliffe and here's Nelms he'll want a big game against his former club but Tibbs, G and Tangata yet again put him down and Rochdale struggling to get out their own 20 here. They will do, but 
Good tackle there from Kavanagh. As Baker, always a dangerous runner with the ball, but got dealt well dealt with Lannan and G. Last tackle for the Hornets and Ridyard, the experienced campaigner, kicks it deep. It's a swirling wind here at Spotland, and Eden does well, fires out to Crooks. Halifax looking to play straight away, and Crooks manages to get a second effort, but it's put down eventually by Meadows. He keeps the dummy half. Eden finds it to McComb, and McComb sizes up the defence, but takes four Hornets defenders to put him down just shy of halfway. Slow play the ball, but Halifax will carry on and Woodburn all shows footwork at a line, gets a half break. And else makes a tackle, had to be, and it's a six again for the Panthers. And Tibbs wasting no time getting out from dummy half as Halifax on the Hornets 20. As O'Brien finds Lannan trying to make con yards after contact, but the Rochdale defenders putting down where he stands. Wins a rut though, and O'Brien goes from dummy half looking for support, but gets brought down five metres short of the line. Connor Davies fills in at dummy half, fires it to Keyes, and Keyes brings on Kavanagh on the angle, looking for a gap in the defence. Kavanagh throws the ball out blind, but. We get away with it as Connor Davies gets the ball and gets an off to Keys and Keys runs across field. There's options here for the Panthers back inside to G and G looking to power over the line, but the Hornets defence put him down just shy. O'Brien goes left, finds Davies, short ball to Lannan and Lannan again offloading the tackle. Here's Tangatar and Tangatar looking to twist his way over. Thought about reaching over the line, but decided against it. Last tackle here for Fax. Slow play the ball yet again. McNally using all his while to slow it down. Keys finds Dufre. Short ball to Kavanagh. And again to Woodburn All. And James Woodburn All. A try a game for the fullback. And after three minutes here at Spotland, Halifax hit the front. Right from the first time they got possession, Halifax have looked to spread the ball wide. And so it was on that last tackle. Keys found Drew Frey. Drew Frey handed the ball onto Kavanagh and Kavanagh got his arm free and James Woodburn all. Great support play from the fullback. And he goes over for his second try in as many games in 2024. And just the start, Liam Finn would have wanted a great response after the disappointing defeat over at Oldham last week. And it'll be Louis Jufre who'll keep possession of the kicking tee. Having kicked two from two, I've taken over from Keys last week. Pictures might not show, but it's a really blustery, spiralling wind here on the Pennines. As you can see the posts move in the wind. Can you free? Judge this wind to guide this ball through the post. He does, the flags are up. And Jufre is one from one. After four and a half minutes here, it's Rossdale on, it's near life, that's Panthers four. And like I say, perfect start, first possession of the game. Helped out by six again, given by the referee Ryan Cox. And Ifax are clinical this week. It'll be Ridyard to get the game back underway for the Hornets. Ridgeard it is, goes high and it hangs in the wind, Jufre claims, finds Tangatar, and Tangatar does well, despite the attention of three Hornets defenders, gets up and gives a quick play of the ball, here's G, runs towards centre field, wants to be a slight high tackle with the referee, not giving anything there, as G fights to get up, 
O'Brien finds Will Bernal. On to Eden. Eden runs across the defence, but it's a one on one steal by the Hornets man. And a great response here from the home side. In the blink of an eye, Rochdale are inside the Fax 20. Here's Ridyard. Drop off for Nelms and Nelms put down well by three Fax defenders. Keys, O'Brien and Lannan. They work it left. Bake hands on to Els. Els short ball. To Meadows and Meadows. It's brought down by Tibbs. Great tackle down low there. On the Rochdale man by Connor Davies. Last tackle. Here for Rochdale. Loose ball to Els. Hands on to Ridyard. The Hornets keeping ball in hand. McNally kicks towards a corner. Will burn all there waiting. Has he kept the ball in play? As, but Rochdale will be happy with that. They'll look to try and restrict this yardage from Fax and Crooks. Gets put on his back by the Rochdale defence there. Here's Eden. Keeps all the ball this time and finds his front 15 metres out from his own line. Here's McComb. McComb. Loose hand there from the Rochdale hooker. Eden Rowan but the referee. Reluctant to give any penalties so far. So O'Brien onto Lannan. Lannan finds his front despite the attention of three front on his defenders. Quick play of the ball. O'Brien hands on to Keyes and Keyes will kick with momentum. Tries to find the corner, but the winger on that side, Tom Breeley, does well. Good chase there from the Panthers. And Rochdale will just start their set off just shy of their own 20 metre line. McNally throws a dummy. He has put down by Lannan. Oh, there's a knock on there by Baker. Unforced error there. And I think that's a great opportunity to put some more pressure on this Rochdale on its line. They'll get the scrum. 30 metres out, centre field. Due frame, Woodburn all standing directly behind the scrum. They'll look to break late. They do. The goal left, Due frame steps off his, off his left. Still going, Due frame, but he's lost the ball. And again, unforced errors from both sides this time, but Ifax not getting out of the habit from last week. As O'Brien shoots out the line, puts some pressure on Luke Nelms, and that's brilliant work there from the captain. Leading by example, and Halifax hit the ball back. Connor Davies gets put down by the Rochdale defence, 25 metres from the line. O'Brien goes left to Keys. Hands it on to Woodburn All, on to Crooks, and Crooks hands off his, his opposite number, and Ben Crooks is in for his first try of the season. And he could say that's too easy, but Ben Crooks showing all his strength, and Guile to hand off the Hornets defence to put Halifax 10 points up with a kick to come and it all came from the willingness from Captain Adam O'Brien shot out the line put pressure on the Hornets attack spilled the ball and then Halifax just worked it left and Crooks goes over on that left hand side for his first try of 2024 And you can see a marked change from last week. The errors that we made last week resulted in Oldham points. The errors this week, we're working hard to get the ball back, and we do. And it's our points that are being put on the board. And it's Louis Jufre with his second conversion attempt of the game. Slightly more difficult this time towards the touchline. Dufresne certainly high enough 
but he's just pushed that wide. The score remains. Coming up to the 11th minute mark here at the Crown Hall, Crown Hall Arena. Rochdale on it, Snail Halifax Panthers 10. It's Ridyard once more, once more he spirals it towards the left hand side. The ball bounces and collects easy enough by Jufre and Tangata. Runs it back, had such a good impact off the bench last week. Tangata starting this week and he's done well so far. Here's McComb. Good yard after contact there from McComb. Finds his front. As O'Brien waits from dummy half. Davies hands it on to, La uh, to Lannan, sorry, and Lannan. Yard is after contact, restricted by that Hornets defence. O'Brien shoots out from dummy half. Gets Halifax just about to halfway. Keys works the blind side. Finds Kavanagh and Kavanagh, who makes some good yards up to the 40, fighting for a quick play of the ball. O'Brien to Keys and Keys puts it high, looking for the chase of Crooks, but he's going to be a bit too far. But it's a good enough chase from Jufre, who puts him down on his own 10 metre line. Tom Brealy it was. As Hartley has a welcoming committee of three fast defenders waiting for him with a quick play of the ball. Good footwork down the line there. Stepped out of challenge of Tangata, but Jufre and G were there to mop up. As Nelms. Big contact there, but Jufre and Tangata put him down. Rode and onto Ridyard. Ridyard, the support player, overrun him, so Ridyard, using all his experience, just keeps all the ball. Last tackle here for Rochdale. And it's McNally, who puts boot to ball. Looking for length, but it just catches. The wind just catches it, hangs in the air, and it's an easy enough take for Eden. He'll take his tackle, five metres shy of halfway. Here's Crooks. Who will take Halifax past halfway. Good yards there from the centre. Quick play of the ball too. And O'Brien again jumps out from dummy half. This is good so far from the Panthers. Here's Lannan. Looking to make yards up the middle. Gets inside the Hornets 20. Halifax looking to build to the right hand side, here's Tangata, out of the back to Jufre, Jufre, onto a burn all, we'll burn all, keeps all, steps back inside, looking for the gaps in the defence, Tangata turns in the tackle, looking for the offload, but the Hornets defence wrap him up. Last tackle here for Fax, O'Brien looks left and right, he shimmies left and goes right, we'll burn all, on ball out to Tibbs, Tibbs can he crash over? McComb wanted the ball, but the Hornets defence give credit to him, wrapped him up well. But it's not a bad place to turn the ball over. And the Hornets will play the ball two metres out from their own line. And look at that defence. Shooting up. Conor Davies, O'Brien and Tangata leading the chase up. Oshdale work the blind side. Big hit there from Matty G. Here's Baker, turns in the tackle. But he gets put down. So my mistake, that was Boardman. Put down by O'Brien. It comes off second best as Boardman. Here's Nelms. And then Nelms will find the 30 for Rochdale. Roden waits a dummy half. He was Baker this time. Goes back towards the rook. Gets the offload onto Nelms. Nelms throws a dummy. He was selling it, but no one was buying it. Now if that's defence, he gets put down. On, Just over the 40. Last tackle here for Rochdale. Ridyard this time. Spirals it long and Hoodburn all oh, spills it. He tried to take it on the full. And he's our first real evidence of this spiraling wind here. Maybe Woodburn all oh, should have just played the percentages and let the ball bounce. But playing with confidence, he tries to take it on the full but comes up with the error. And Rochdale have a great opportunity here for their first points of the afternoon. Scrum down, centre field, 20 metres from the fax line. 
There's a break in play here. So it's going to be a substitution and Boardman, it is, who's going to make way for a HIA head, head injury assessment with Ben Killen coming onto the field to replace him. As Rochdale break right else, finds Ridyard. Out the back to McNally, McNally under pressure, and that's brilliant play there from Greg Eden. All oh, that Super League experience. When he's shooting like that off your wing, you've got to make the tackle, and he did. Forcing another error from the Rochdale Hornets, and the facts survive. It'll be facts this time, feeding the scrum. Nice little play there from Rochdale, but when you've got Greg Eden rushing in, the execution's got to be 100% and it wasn't that time. Here's Dufre, hands on to Tibbs, Tibbs looking to take him on the outside, makes a half break, goes on the brace and goes back inside, he's still going his Tibbs, past halfway, brilliant run there from Tibbs. McComb hands on to Davies, and Davies hands off the first defender, he's still going Connor Davies. He gets put down, well, not put down, stopped just shy of the 40. O'Brien finds keys, either back to Woodburn or Woodburn or steps out the tackle. He's still going. Will he force the pass? No, but it's going to be a penalty the first of the afternoon. Two life has Panthers referee ruling that there was an IFAX player tackled without the ball. In fact, will just tap and go. O'Brien on the 30. Taps hands on to Tangata and Tangata thought about the offload to Lannan but just takes it himself and Halifax. They've got six tackles inside Rochdale's 25. O'Brien hands on to Lannan, no thought of an offload. There's Lannan. Restricted yardage there. But he's fighting to win his front there. Here's Davies. Finds Jufre. Short ball to G and G. Trying to power through the defence, they're wanting it on that right, this right hand flank. O'Brien goes back towards the middle, finds Davies, onto Keyes, Keyes throws a dummy, and Keyes is going through. Great, last ditch tackle there from the Hornets defence, but it's a quick play of the ball. O'Brien shimmies, finds Kevin a long ball out to Crooks, and Crooks steps inside, and he gets his second of the game. As Fax shreds the lead out to 14 points after 18 minutes. I uh, said it before, IFAX looking to spread it wide at every opportunity. Ben Tibbs it was from that scrum. Making the half break. The Panthers got a penalty for the fast man taking off the ball. Went right then left. And Ben Crooks it was finishing off in that left channel. For his second try of the game to Halifax 40 0 up with a kick to come. Scored in exactly the same place as his first, giving Drew Frey another shot of goal from the same spot as he got his radar working after that first attempt. Here he comes, strikes it high. The wind's caught it in the air, but he's got it this time. The flags are up. As Jufre gets his second goal of the game to make it Rochdale on its nil. Halifax Panthers 16. Half the first quarter of this game. And a decent response after last week from the men in blue and white. It's McNally, Ridyard once more from the kickoff. It spirals in that wind, it's blowing back, but well taken there from Tibbs. Usually it's, it's a man from the back coming forward, but Tibbs did brilliantly to run back and catch that. 
Und der ist Zangeza. Und Zangeza. Three Rochdale on its men eventually put him down. Still a slow play of the ball. O'Brien finds Lannan and Lannan. Well tackled down low by Roden. Still messing around the play of the ball. As the floodlights come on, as Davies goes past halfway. Don't adjust your picture set. The, the floodlights have come on. The brightness is absolutely fine. And O'Brien onto Jufre. Jufre onto Kavanagh. Kavanagh throws a dummy. Gets put down. 25 metres out for the line. Last tackle here for Fax. And Jufre kicks towards that corner looking for the chase of Eden and Crooks. It's knocked on by the Rochdale defence. The referee rule is two knock-ons there. And Rochdale survive. But again, not a bad place to turn the ball over. Rochdale less than 10 metres out from their own line. And a quick chase out yet again from O'Brien. Setting the tempo in this defence of the captain. Here's Nels, runs towards the centre. Big contact there from G and Lannan Elts out there by Tangata. As Rochdale struggling to get out their own 20. Else. Hands it on. As Meadows takes it further on. Ratcliffe, my mistake. And it's Rochdale who get their first penalty of the game. As referee Ryan Cox evens up the penalty count. Not too sure what for yet. As Ridyard is putting his two penalty in, he's got it for an eye tackle. Well, Ridyard boots the ball a touch, which goes just past halfway. And it's Ratcliffe once more. Takes the ball up for the Hornets. We're well put down there by G. Ronan waits for dummy half. Else runs across the line onto Ridyard. Ridyard. Strong ball there to Hartley and Hartley. Well marshalled there by Kavanagh and, e and Keys. Long ball from dummy half. And Killen. Stopped by three fast defenders, ten from the line. Hornets work it left. Nelms takes the line onto Els. Els runs across the line. And Halifax going to be another high tackle there on Luke Forber. The crowd call it straight away, and it's the right decision. Don't think it's swinging arm. It was just a a reach, but it was still head high. And Rochdale have six tackles on this Halifax line. Here's Ratcliffe again. Ever willing running the corner Ratcliffe. As he got towards the line, he's held up. He got over the line. Well, Halifax have got to be on the metal here in defence. He'll go back 10 metres to play the ball. Still plenty of tackles in the bag here for Rochdale as Ridyard runs across the line. Brings on Killen, but great shot there from Tangata. As Kevin Leroy are looking. Turns to the fray for his under Halifax appearance. Here's Els. Runs across field and Jufre puts him down. With Davies down low. Still tackles here. Roden shimmies from dummy half, looking to get over the line. Jufre and G working overtime in defence to keep him out. Here's Ridyard. Throws a dummy out to McNally. Rochdale sprinting it there. And Hartley well dealt with by Ben Crooks. Having a wow of a game, both in attack and defence. Ben Crooks. Last tackle here for the Hornets. Ridyard dings it forward and Jufre there to mop up. Great defensive set there from Halifax. It'll be Tangata. And Lannan to make way for Jacob Fairbank and Kevin Leroyer for his 100th Halifax appearance. What a career he's had for the men in blue and white. Here's Crooks. 
Post his nose through, he's still going Ben Crooks, but takes three Rochdale Harness defenders to put him down. Calling for the over the horizontal of the Halifax players, but nothing given from the referee. Jufre Finsel at half and Fairbank straight into the action. Off the bench this week. He gets stopped on the 40. O'Brien onto the Roya, first touch for the Frenchman. And he'll take Halifax past halfway, turns in the tackle. He's still going, just backing up towards all its line. Last tackle here for Fax. Lots of messing around the play, the ball, the referee letting lots go at this rope. Keys on the last, hands on to Dufresne, and Dufresne will put it high. It hangs in the wind, but it's taken well by Dan Nixon, and Nixon put down by Dufresne and Keys. The halfbacks working in tandem there in defence. Here's Brealey, and Brealey put down by Cruz, uh, uh, Crooks. Quick play of the ball. But it's solid Halifax defence there, really restricted this Rochdale yardage. Connor Davis it is, finishing off the tackle on the floor. Here's Nelms, runs towards Dufresne, but G down low, helps him out. Takes Rochdale past the 30. Roden works the blind side, else. Takes the ball to the line, finds Forber. Leroyer hands on, helped out by Tibbs. Last tackle here for Rochdale, just shy of halfway. It goes to Els and Els runs with the ball, throws a dummy and Rochdale had the power play well. I think he must have given a six again there. As G sticks his shoulder in and Killen definitely felt that. He's six again for, for Rochdale. Here's Nell, throw the dummy. Great tackle there from Connor Davies. The much smaller man putting down. Here's Baker. Takes the ball to the line and Radcliffe. His first mistake of the game. As Woodburn all takes it. No advantage there. And Halifax will get the ball back. And they'll make a substitution with Adam O'Brien coming off the field. Great stint there from Adam O'Brien, especially in defence. And Tom Inman comes onto the field. Getting plenty of minutes this week, Tom Inman, he went until the, the final quarter, I think, last week, until he got on the field. But Adam O'Brien takes a will and rest on the bench. Free stint so far. As Keyes feeds the scrum. Woodburn all throws footwork at the line, looking to get on the outside shoulder, but the Rochdale defence put him down. Inman finds Eden, and Eden off his wing. Makes some much-needed yards for Fax on the 40 Inman finds Fairbank Fairbank throws a dummy Rochdale wise to it gets put down just shy of halfway Eden shimmies right and goes left to those Leroy centre field yeah chat three Rochdale defence Fender's four now who can't put him down and just stop him where he stands I has to go blind again Woodburn all on to Kavanagh and Kavanagh throws the ball wide and ben Greg Eden's away Calls a forward pass from the Rochdale fans. Referee rules play on and Greg Eden scores his third try of the season. Just shy of halfway at the half, the half an hour mark. And yet again, Halifax looking to test them their arm out wide. The long ball from Ben Kavanagh went to ground. Ben Kavanagh it was, threw the ball out wide, he went on the ground and Eden picked the ball up, raced away for four. <laughs> to put Halifax 20 nil up, with 10 minutes to go in this first half. And Halifax showing the clinical edge this week. And a slightly easier attempt for Jufre it is now. We're still with the, these blustery conditions here at Spotland. He's got a job to do. To put the ball over the post.
Here he is. Drills it this time straight through. You can just tell by that strike. He likes it. And Halifax. Commanding position here. Coming up towards our time. Rochdale on, it's nil. Halifax Panthers, 22. As Ridyard puts it high and he's blown backwards. But the referee's rule that he's gone over the 10 metres as well. It's very rare that you see that. The referee ruling that the ball had gone past the 10 metres in the air, blown back by the wind. And Rochdale just simply caught it well. Ridyard, that exp experienced campaigner, using all his. Why on? It's a six again for Rochdale. Well, compounding the mistake there is Ridyard. Gets the ball out. Wilkinson finds Baker and Baker trying to step his way through the defence. And Lifehouse putting down less than 10 from the line. Wilkinson waits. He goes right. Another offload here. Wilkinson throws a dummy. Goes back towards the centre and Ridyard. Throws some footwork in else. Wild little runner there else, but he's put down by Leroya and Fairbank. They go back towards the centre and uh, Rochdale have knocked on there and Halifax come. Oh, I thought there was a knock on there, my mistake. Manages to keep all Wilkinson. Finds else. Out the back to Ridyard. And great running there from Tibbs had to be. And forces a knock on as well, Ben Tibbs. And look at the reaction there. From Connor Davies in the Halifax men and Ben Tibbs showing a reaction there. He wouldn't have been happy with his defensive display last week, Ben Tibbs, but he's showing up really well this week. Forcing a knock on from the Rochdale Hornets. Be a scrum down 10 metres out from their own line, Halifax eventually. Keys feeds it. And here's Woodburn all again. Halifax looking to attack out wide. Eden steps back inside, looking for a gap in the defence. What a dangerous runner he is. There's a bit of a punch thrown there, maybe, was there? From number 19, Connor Ratcliffe. Well. Some of the Rochdale fans liking what they've just seen. <laughs> well, definitely from my eyes, it was definitely a, a punch or a slap thrown. Yeah. Referee getting consultation from the touch of John Nisney aside. I think he's going to show leniency, he's going to give him a talking to. It's on report. But if he has connected, there's definitely games in there. Especially in 2024, any kind of contact with the head. Can't be done well. Halifax will play on from the play of the ball and Crooks. Fights to get up for the play of the ball. Inman finds the Roya. Short ball to Davies and Davies tries to get back out of the, the tackle. It's like a pocket battleship is Connor Davies. But he's... Wilkinson using experience to wrap himself up in the tackle. The referee telling him to go back a yard. That'll make a lot of difference. Here's the Roya keeps all this time. Backing up towards that 40 metre line. Inman finds Fairbank. Wilkinson shot out from marker there and put pressure on the loose forward. Last tackle here for Fax. Inman finds Jufre and Jufre out to G and G 
throws out the defence there. He's a six again. My mistake. It wasn't. He won't sing into the last tackle. The six again as Zach McComb takes on the Hornets defence. He gets put down five from the line. Inman waits, surveying his options. Finds Leroy and Leroy throws a dummy. How he'd love a try in his hundredth fax appearance. But he takes four Rochdale defenders to stop his progress. Inman jumps from dummy half. Well defended there from McNally. Had to be. Here's Davies. Fills it dummy half. Fires it to Keys and Keys brings on Kavanagh on the angle. Kavanagh goes between the two honest men. Stands the tackle and put him down. He definitely is the last tackle this time and more messing around to play the ball. Inman finds Keys. Throws a dummy. Steps back inside. Gets it to Inman and Inman grubbers it through. Love a death touch. Hits the post and McNally uses his experience to just boost the ball out. Lovely option there from Tom Inman. Hits the post pad. I know no messing around for McNally. Just hoof the ball into the stands. Forcing the first goal line drop out of the afternoon. Less than three minutes to go till half time. Halifax 22 0 up as Ridyard just grubbers the dropout out. And Laroya will just take his tackle, sets up the play. 25 metres out from the Hornets line, centre field. Inman jumps out from dummy half, spots some lazy markers and takes advantage and gets Halifax to within 15. Keys up dummy half, finds Fairbank. Bobby steps off his right and makes yards into the Halifax ten, uh, Rochdale 10. Here's Inman, finds Dufray. Out the back to Burnall, short ball to Tibbs and Tibbs tries to go between the two Rochdale men. And Halifax will get the penalty for a late shot on Dufray and he definitely felt that. A second penalty for that this game and the referee Ryan Cox having a word with McNally, the Rochdale captain. And Halifax will have six more tackles at this Rochdale line. I thought Dufrey may be going for goal, but it's Dufrey will tap the ball this time. Taps and finds G, runs across field and takes it himself. And Halifax, six tackles on this honest line, looking for their fifth try of the afternoon. Keys throws a dummy again. Finds will burn all, throws footwork in. Trying to step out of the defence as, as Fairbank crosses there and Woodburn all quite rightly just takes the knee, avoiding the penalty. Here's Inman onto Leroya. Leroya put down by two Rochdale defenders. Five metres out for the line. Inman shoots out from Dummy R, finds Keys. Short ball to Connor Davies and Davies looking to stretch out, but he's stopped by that Hornets defence. Just share that try line. Inman, disguised ball, but he throws it to no one. And Rochdale looking to counter attack. Great footwork there from Forber and Forber. Showing some pace, but Tibbs gets back to make a more important tackle. And Rochdale with a, the harness with a sting in the tail at the moment. Looking to get a try back just before half time. As they enter the Panthers half for the first time in a while. Wilkinson waits at dummy half, finds Els, runs across field onto Ridyard, out of the back to McNally. McNally throws it wide, but he throws it to no one but the advertising audience. And a chance has gone there for the to post some points for half time. The time of the scoreboard says 40 minutes. There must be any, no more than a couple of minutes left in this first half. But Halifax will have a play the ball. 25 metres out from their own line, centre field. It's Tibbs, who's had a good first half. 
Ben Tizzi's he's lost the ball. Commentator's curse. When will I learn not to praise these players? <laughs> Marochdale will get one more chance at the line. Tibbs, who up until that moment had a great first half. Unforced error. And Rochdale have the scrum down. 30 metres out from the fast line, centre field. As a word left, and there is our time move to Ridyard. Hands on to Forber, and Forber manages to keep the ball in hand. A referee blows for half time. First half, we saw Halifax pretty much dominant. Four tries. First of all for Rub Bernal after three minutes, then Ben Crooks scoring twice in ten minutes, and then Greg Eden getting his third try of the season. Two three, three from four in the conversions. And Liam Finn has got the response he was looking for from his charges. And then in his first 40 minutes. Halifax lead, 22 points to nil. Welcome back to the Crown Oil Arena here at Spotland Rochdale for the second half of this 1895 Cup game between the Rochdale Hornets and Halifax Panthers with the Panthers showing a bit of a backlash from last week's disappointing result over at Oldham. Tries from James Woodburn all. A quick fire double from Ben Crooks. And yet another try from Greg Eden with three conversions from Louis Euphrey giving Halifax a 22 0 half time lead against the Hornets. And with points difference, perhaps cru proving crucial in these group affairs in terms of potential second place. No doubt the message from Liam Finn in the, in the sheds at half time would be to keep going with this momentum, keep and put a score on. Nil nil at half time and all that. But no doubt the players will know that as well. Especially going into a cup game against Whitehaven at the Shea in the not too distant future. So change ends at half time, Rochdale to kick off. Fridyard kicks off again. Woodburn all lets it bounce once and hands it off to Fairbank and Fairbank. Lose the ball. And that is not the start in the second half. I like that's what I wanted. It's Jacob Fairbank with a rare error there. Three out. All its defenders around him, the ball crept out. Whether there were hands in there, I'm not too sure, but the referee gave a knock on. And Rochdale have a perfect opportunity to post some early points to get back into this game. The goal left, else runs at the line, hands on to Forber, but it was a big contact there from Ben Tibbs. He had such an impressive first half. He is killing and killing, pushed back by Fairbank. Looking to make amends for his mistake just then, Fairbank. Wilkinson shimmies left and goes right and brings on Jordan Andrade. Back in the centre field, but Fairbank, Leroya, are waiting for him with Connor Davies down low. They can't put him down, they just stop his progress. Wilkinson again, dummy from dummy half. Here's Else. Short ball to Forber, and again, Tibbs does really well. Gets all of his opposite number and stops his progress. Wilkinson onto Ridyard. Hands on to Killen. Killen turns in the tackle. He takes three Halifax defenders to put him down. Inman, Fairbank, and Davies he was. Here's Andrade again. Well stopped there from Inman. And Leroy, oh, that was on the last. Rossdale miscounting. The tackle's on the board. But they might not mind turning the ball over so close to Halifax line. Here's Crooks. What a wow of first 40. He takes the ball up. 
looking for a quick play of the ball. Inman on to Eden. Finds McComb and Halifax looking to, to play from deep. And McComb will take his tackle just shy of the 20. Eamon Wakes, where's the blind side? G steps with his right and makes some really good yards. Just over the 30. Eamon finds Leroy, gets ahead of steam onto the line. Great yards there from the Frenchman. Takes Fax to halfway. Looking for a quick play of the ball. Here's Davies. Onto Keys. Brings on Kavanagh on the angle, but great tackle down low from Wilkinson. Held out by Andrade up top. Last tackle for Fax. As Keys measured kick towards the corner. With Crooks to chase. Brilliant chase there from Crooks and Eden, but the winger there. Tom Braley did really well to get back into the field of play. But Tom Inman leads the defensive chase up with a big hit. Held out by Fairbank. And Eden does well in defence there. Here's Wilkinson. Hands on to Nixon and now Rochdale are really struggling to get Eva out of their own 10 metre line here. Else. Runs laterally but put down by Dufre and Inman and last tackle for Rochdale they're barely out of their own 10. This is a great defensive effort from Halifax. As Ridyard with the win but he goes straight down the throat of Eden. Hands on to Woodburn all who may well look to counter attack, throw some footwork in, try to go through the gap, pulls his nose through but defenders get to him and Halifax will start in the set inside the Rochdale half. Keys at dummy half, finds Eden. And Eden walks behind you, Frey, and will just give himself up. Not a great start to set there from Halifax. Here's McComb, who goes more direct. That's better. Takes three Rochdale defenders to stop his progress and gets a quick play of the ball. Inman finds Fairbank, onto Keys, finds Kavanagh, steps inside, spins the tackle, looking for the offload pass, but he still keeps going as Kavanagh gets the offload out. Eventually, Fairbank throws it back. As Jufre knocks on. And that's poor, really. Putting, us, putting themselves under too much pressure there, Ifax. Coming up with the error. And Rochdale sigh a big sigh of relief. And they'll get a scrum down. 25 metres from their own line, centre field. Which else will feed Wilkinson? Land on. With Forber. Getting Rochdale past the 20. Big collision there in midfield. From Ben Forster, ex Halifax man, the Fax defence will know him well. As Rochdale try and make go past halfway, big collision there from Fairbank on Brealey. This is better from Rochdale though. Wilkinson hands on to Ridyard, runs across field looking for options, finds else, else takes to the line, short ball to Forster and Forster takes on the fax defence and goes past the 30. Leroy and Jufre put him down. Here's Ridyard. Hands on to Killen and Killen, great tackle down low from Davies and Inman and on there. Looking to counter attack, here's Keyes. And Keyes used experience, said there, don't force the pass, just takes a tackle there. And Connor Davies, brilliant defence and takes a well earned rest. And Adam O'Brien goes onto the field and Woodburn all looking to counter attack, Woodburn all accelerating away, but the Hornets defence just about get to him. And Alifax looking for the first goal, the second half. Inman throws a dummy. Andrade gets to him. Still tackles Ava Fax. O'Brien, fresh out of the field, waits a dummy half. Here's Leroyer. Finds Keyes, just about holds onto it. Onto Crooks, look on a hat trick, of course. Referee shouts held. But they're still messing around the play of the ball. Still not giving a penalty for anything of the rook so far. This referee and Frustration's boiling over. <laughs> referee giving Ben Crooks a talking to, but quite rightly he's getting frustrated at the reluctance of this referee to give anything at this rook. 
Here's Inman, onto Keyes, short ball. G turns the tackle. The Horace defence do well. Last tackle here for Fax. Inman. O'Brien. It's a knock on there from Rochdale. As Rityard put pressure on the defence. That's unlucky. There was a good defensive effort there from Rochdale. But I Fax will get six more tackles on the Hornets line. With a scrum 10 metres out. Centre field and those IFAX players maybe sensing the first score of this second 40. When this scrum eventually gets formed and put down, Joe Keyes just running to get the ball. Again, Woodburn Hall and Jufre behind the scrum, they break late towards the right hand side. Jufre hands it on to the marauding Ben Tibbs. And that is a try that he definitely deserves for his efforts today, Ben Tibbs. And he scored two and two. And Ifax go 26 nil up. And maybe that is game over. Rochdale had to score first to get any, to get any kind of comeback here. But Ben Tibbs. Jufre supplied the pass. It was a lovely line from Ben Tibbs. And after eight minutes, the second half, Ifax 26 0 to the good. And because they are to the good, as Jufre lines up this conversion attempt, Liam Finn decides it is time to unleash the headline sign of the 2024 season. After such a stellar NRL and England career via Warrington and Castleford, as Jufre slots the ball over the post, Gareth Widdop returns home, making his long awaited debut for his hometown team, replacing the try scorer Ben Tibbs. And Gareth Widdop, the international. Full back, half back. He's going to play at centre. Well, I don't think you had that on you. Gareth with the with a bingo sheet today. But there he is. Let's see how he goes on. Missed a lot of pre-season. But Liam Finn ruling and fit enough for this game as Ridyard spirals a kick off. Well taken there from Woodburn Hall who chests the ball to Eden. Who will put the ball? Who will play the ball on the 15? Zach McCormick was my mistake as Laroya gets a better steam. Takes three Hornets defenders to put him down. Inman fires the ball and referee gives a penalty for offside for the Hornets. And Joe Keys will oblige the penalty. Rather conservative effort, just takes Halifax 10 yards into the Hornets half. And here's Matty G. Good run in the centre field from the second rower. And again, messing around this rook, but nothing given from the referee. Here's O'Brien, short ball to Fairbank, and Fairbank gets put down by two Hornets defenders, 25, 20 metres out from the line. Inman, she was left and goes right. O'Brien finds Widdop and Widdop. Gets the ball out to Jufre and Jufre three on two here for Halifax. McComb, can he get in the corner? But great tackle there from the Hornets. Who pushed McComb out into touch. And you can see the little glimpse there from Widdop just doing the simple things right. Getting on the outside shoulder of his man, getting the offload. Well, Zach McComb got pushed out in a touch by the Rochdale defence and they'll get to play the ball centre field 10 metres out from their own line as Wilkinson hands it on to, Fort, to Hartley Hartley put down by Inman and here's Forster Edges his way upfield, tackled by Crooks and Kavanagh. Here's Andrade, Andrade 
Takes on O'Brien, but he's helped out by Gene LaRoya. Big contact there from Fairbank. Restricting the Hornets yardage upfield from Kenny Baker. Wilkinson, she was at dummy half. Works the blind side, but the fax defence wise to it. And Fairbank working hard this set, last tackle here for Rochdale. Baker hands it on to Ridyard. Thought about the kick, but just hands it on McNally. On to Hartley, and Hartley kicks the ball against the back of Ben Crooks. And is the referee going to rule that as a charge down? No, he isn't. Ben Crooks rule, definitely turned his back. And definitely can't be a charge down if he turns his back in the tackle. And Ifax will get the play of the ball on halfway, centre field. Inman finds Widdop, brings on his ex teammate Eden. Sorry, McCoom into the action. Fairbank. Onto Leroy and Leroy drops the ball, cold, well. Maybe Rochdale will see that as justice. But the error count for Halifax is, is probably too much for Liam Finn. I make that the six handling error of the afternoon for Halifax. Gifting Rochdale possession from the scrum. 10 metres shy of halfway. Which Ridyard feeds Wilkinson, hands on to Else. He'll hand it on further to, further to Forber. Great tackle down low from Widder Belt out up top. From Woodburn Hall as Inman, great collision midfield there from Inman. Held out by O'Brien. And Baker, I wasn't expecting that. He gets up with a a smile on his face thinking, what was that? That's fair back with more defensive work. Here's Els. Hands on to McNally. Further on. To Nixon and Nixon. Eventually gets brought down. Here's Andrade, Andrade. Gets put down by O'Brien. Last tackle here for Rochdale. Ridyard kicks it back and forth. It's, it's... The referee just doesn't know what he's doing here at the moment. He's just looking over to his touch just for something. The ball ricocheted back and forth. And the referee does indeed give the ball to Rochdale. Well, from the formation. Widdop has indeed come on as uh, half-back. Woodburn Hall's gone to right centre for Tibbs. Widdop at half-back and Jufre is at, at full-back. Sign of Gareth Widdop just gives Halifax so many options in the back line. But as it is, it's this back line that needs to work defensively as Rochdale have the scrum. And they get a penalty. Halifax rule to have broken early. No chance of a a two point penalty here as Wilkinson taps and goes and Killen will take the ball to the Alifast defence and no doubt they'll want to keep that zero on the scoreboard against Rochdale's name and again more messing around the, the rook but the referees allowed it all game Baker loose ball he goes backwards to Els and Els well wrapped up there from O'Brien brilliant defensive display from the captain today Here's Baker, thought about the pass but spins the tackle, but well put down there. On the 15 by Fairbank. Wilkinson, shot ball to Andrade, who takes on Jufre and Inman and Fairbank. He's still going Jordan Andrade. Nugget a little forward there, Andrade. Held just short. Wilkinson, shot ball, it's a lovely line there. And I have to apologise again, it's a commentator's curse as Rochdale get their first try of the game on the 56th minute. It was a lovely line 
from the ball from Wilkinson. And Liam Finn will not be happy with that goal line defence. I'm not too sure it was who scored the try there. But Rochdale have got four points back on the board. Meanwhile, Kevin Leroyer on his 100th game for the Panthers makes way, getting a well earned rest for his efforts. That's Vidyard. Converts from banging front. And we still don't know who's got over. I think it was, I think it was Ben Kilner who, who scored. Well, 22 minutes to go, Rochdale pull back. 28 points to six down as Keyes kicks off. Taken by Nixon, hands it on to the latest try scorer, Killen. Sorry, that was Baker. It was Andrade again, but well put down there by O'Brien. Here's Else. Good defence there yet again. From G and Fairbank and Ridyard looks to kick early in a tackle count. Looking to get a 40-20, which he does. Or is it just short? No, the touch judge is giving it. Great 40-20 there from Ridyard. Taking advantage of this wind in the second half. And Wilkinson will tap and go and hand it on to Killen. Wilkinson wakes. Hands on to Baker, throws a dummy, steps back inside. Holds it one-handed. Yes, put down by Tangata. Fresh onto the field for Leroyer. Wilkinson finds Baker, hands it on this time. Else, out of the back to McNally. Long ball out to forward to Nixon. And Nixon has scored and Rochdale go back to back. Well, is there a comeback on here? At the Crown Oil Arena. As Rochdale scored the second try of the game, great acrobatic finish there from Dan Nixon. And Ifax have just pressed the self destruct button at the moment. Unfortunately, since Gareth Williams entered the field, Halifax have conceded two tries. <laughs> but it leaves Martin Ridyard a tricky conversion from the touchline. He made brilliant use of the wind from his 40-20, which put Rochdale in a position. Can he use the wind? Well, again, he goes towards that post and he has well. Ridyard, two from two. And in the second half, Rochdale, a 12-6 up. But it's still Halifax 28, Rochdale 12 in terms of the full game. Keys goes deep from the kickoff. Well taken there from Baker. Taken by three fast defenders in the shape of Inman O'Brien and Kavanagh. And Ifax compounding now by a penalty. Well, facts have well and truly pressed the self destruct button right now. As Ridyard boots that ball over the stand from the penalty. Let's go, boys! 
and Rossdale. Long looping pass from Hartley, he won't like that. Rossdale have gone 15 yards backwards here, but Andrade trying to make his way back into the back half. Stopped by O'Brien. Fairbank and G&G's come off second best there. Very rare you see him go down. The referee quite rightly stopping the games to make sure it's not anything too serious. The physios come on and will Mike G be off for head injury assessment? I'd say the referee's been quite kind there. The doctor hasn't entered the field, so he doesn't necessarily have to stop the game. Mike G's okay to continue. As Bay cans it on to Killen and Killen. Gets put down by Kavanagh. Here's Ridyard, on to Baker, finds Els, Els, short ball to the rampage in Forber and Forber. A tackle well by Widdop and G, it had to be. Here's Els on to Andrade, Andrade, stepping, still going. He's, he's caused Halifax defence some problems since he's come on as Andrade. Here's Wilkinson, runs some dummy half. Finds Ridyard out of the back and McNally gets booked to ball. Kicks out on the four and that's a disappointing end to that Rochdale set. But Halifax can be breathing a big sigh of relief. And McNally from reaching for that ball looks like he's done his hamstring and that could be his afternoon gone. Meanwhile, Jacob Fairbank makes his way from the field. to be replaced by Ryan Lannan as Crooks takes his tackle just over the 30 here is Lannan fresh onto the field goes between two Rochdale defenders there's a struggle to get get to grips with him he's still going Lannan what a great yard he's there as Inman goes there and there's Widdop lovely little ball from Inman there and Widdop just about got hold of Inman once again goes from dummy half Jufre Long ball out to G and G. Looks to fend off the Rochdale defenders. Gets put down 10 metres from the line. Here's Widdop. Great pressure there from Wilkinson, but Widdop evades him, but reinforcements arise to put him down. Last tackle here for Fax. Here's Inman. Finds Keys out the back. Keys covers it through, looking for Kavanagh. But Kavanagh rushes through. It's the penalty. Referee ruling offside against Kavanagh. Well, or ruled the high tackle. He's not happy about that in Ben Kavanagh and the penalties are, as well, the error count is rising for Halifax, especially in the second half. And the Halifax fans not liking that decision from the referee as Ridyard don't make use of the wind very well this time. Harley taps and goes back onto Ridyard, back onto Killen and Killen, great tackle yet again from Inman and Tangata lending his weight to that defensive effort. Here's Baker, keeps all this time. Takes it up but stopped by three men welcome committee of O'Brien, G and Lannan. Rochdale were the blind side, brilliant defensive effort yet again there from O'Brien. Great tackle down low is Andrade. Better defensive effort against him this time from Tangata and Inman. Here's Ridyard. Goes it through looking for another 40 20. Looks like he's got it there. Oh, no, he hasn't. Jufre collects it at the back. That was a great kick in his head, the 40 20, but Louis Jufre did really well to keep the ball in the field of play. As Eden takes the ball up. And he comes off second best from that tackle there. And that's not what we want to see. Leading try scorer so far in 2024 going down like that. Physio straight onto the field.
and it could be a very expensive second half. As Greg Eden lies on the floor, receiving treatment from the physio, it could be a very expensive second half. In terms of points, for Halifax, but injuries to players as well. He gets up to his feet. He's will burn all hands on to Jufre. Jufre throws a dummy. Oh, it was Zach McComb, my mistake. Who was down injured. Well, here is Eden. This definitely Eden this time as Crooks on a hat trick. Definitely Eden this time and not McComb. I said last week I need new glasses, maybe I need to invest in him. Last tackle for Fax. Here's Keys. Crumbles it through. McNally waits for the bat, stops it with his foot. Oh, it's Lewis Else at the back, my mistake. Great chase from the Fax defence. Tangatara and Lannan leading it. And there's Nixon. Takes the ball up, but well defended there by G. Another big contact there. Gareth Widdop it was. Held out by Tangata. And Woodburn all there. As Ifax looking to restrict the yardage from the Hornets. Here's Woden from Dummy Half. In with his opposite number. Gets the grips of the melt by Lannan. Last tackle here for Rochdale. As Ridyard. Tries to spiral this bomb up, Eden waits. Well taken there by Greg Eden. Looking to counter attack. Gets between two Rochdale defenders, but the third one in the shape of Roden. Stops his progress. Inman from Dumiar finds Dufre, short ball to Widdop and Widdop comes back inside. Dealt with by three Rochdale defenders who can't put him down, they'll just stop him where he stands. Inman onto O'Brien, brings on Lannan and Lannan takes Fax past halfway three Hornets men put him down to get a quick play of the ball Inman goes right love a delayed pass from Widdop and Matty G racing away will he just go for the line great defending there she just opened his legs and gone for the line there long ball to Keys. Keys, lovely cut out ball to Ben Kavanagh and Halifax do strike back two lovely Time balls take Halifax over the try line. Leading to Ben Kavanagh's first try of the, of the season. With 10 minutes to go to full time. And if there was any doubt over the result, with a great fight by the Rochdale of Shulman second half, that definitely puts that to bed. A beautiful delayed ball from Widdop brought on Matty G and you have thought he just carried on going, but great tackle at the back from the Rochdale fullback. But then the ball was worked left. Wide ball to Keys and Keys. Very similar ball to Widdop, just delayed the ball. So Kavanagh on his shoulder, who charged over the try line for his first try of the season to put Halifax 32 12 up with a kick to come. And it leaves Louis Jufre. Still a tricky conversion attempt in these conditions. Jufre strikes. It's straight between the posts. The flags are up. And Jufre gets his fifth goal of the afternoon. To make it Rochdale on, it's 12, Halifax Panthers 34. And can Halifax dominate these last eight minutes to put a score on this Rochdale Hornets? Ridyard 
The ball hands in the wind again and Dufre lets it go. And Adam Tangata, brilliant player there. Showing fleet of foot there did Tangata. I think to keep that ball from going dead, these will burn all. Well put down there by the Rochdale defence. There's McComb. Takes the ball in. Here's Tangata. Good yards there, and Tangata put his nose through, and, uh, and Keyes was looking for the offload there. Here's Lannan. Great line there from Lannan behind the markers. Takes Halifax into Rochdale territory. Last tackle here for the Panthers, and, and again, the referee not giving any penalties away at, the, at this rook, no matter how much messing around there is. As Brealey. Well, tackle there by Kavanagh. Here's Els. Runs across the line, but Crook shot out. And along with O'Brien, all his progress. 15 metres out from his own line. Here's Hartley and Hartley. Met by Tangata. There's Downs. Good contact there from G. Helped out by Inman down low. So going to play the ball down. Here's Baker. Pushed that man off and gets the ball out. Ridyard finds Els. Els steps out. The, tries to step out the challenge of Keys, but Keys ends on to win well. Last tackle here for Rochdale on their own. 40. As Ridyard spirals that bomb up. Tough one for for Jufre. He goes to McComb and it spiralled out of him bounced into him and knocks on and Rossdale will have one more chance to get more points on the board here as is known throughout his career Ridyard's kicking game has been superb causing all sorts of problems in the Halifax defence and it proved that yet again And Rossdale have a scrum 10 metres out from the Fax line centre field. Here is Ridyard. Sends it straight on to, to Harley. And Harley takes on Crooks. He's looking to get over, but Crooks just, just, enough, just enough to stop his progress for the line. Ridyard once more on to Forster. Forster steps off. Gets out of the challenge of Kavanagh, Ben Forster. I would love a try against the Panthers. Roden jumps in at dummy R, finds Ridyard. Shows and goes. And Killer knocks on. And the referee will roll the scrum, no advantage gained. And Halifax. I let off the hook there. But you can see from the touch judges' flags there. The strength of this wind, which is picked up in this second half. Inman finds Widder, who hands it on to Woodburn All. Little goose step before the defensive line. He gets put down just over the 20. Widder wakes. Hands on to G and G, takes it up. Makes some yards after contact. Fighting for a quick play of the ball. Inman finds Lannan. Lannan has run really well this second half since he's been on Lannan. Takes Fax to within five of halfway. Inman works a blind side onto Keys. Keys shot ball to Kavanagh and Kavanagh breaks through. Ben Kavanagh back on the inside to Tom Inman and Tom Inman dives over for a try that he definitely deserves. And is that Keys Kavanagh combination cooking once more? Lovely play from the K Men. It was that run from Lannan that set up the momentum for Fax. Keys put Kavanagh through the gap. He brought through, he had options left and right, went back on the inside to Winman. And he's off the mark for 2024. 
And with around three, four minutes left in the second half, Halifax, a 38-12 up with a kick to come from Jufre, who's not wasting much time. Converts, he's the sixth conversion of the afternoon. And Halifax sends they can put a score on here. Points difference, like I said before, could be so crucial. In the context of these group stages, 1895 Cup. 28, point, 28 points difference at the moment. 24 in total after the four point slump last week. Ridyard, another spiralling kickoff, which Jufre does deal with this time. And on to Lannan and Lannan. And on to Eden and Halifax counter attacking from deep this time. Eden taking on the Rossdale defence. He's away. Greg Eden's going to go. Oh, he stops. Why didn't he just go for the corner? Well, I thought for all money he was away for the corner. But Halifax have got men over on this right hand side. Widdup. Long ball out to G. G draws the man. He goes over and Matty G goes over the line. And Halifax go back to back. And we are seeing a bit of a score. Two tries in a minute. As Matty G gets his first try of the season, he's off the newly run. Brilliant play from Halifax. Right from the kickoff. Lannan, very rare to see him offload, but he must have seen the space. And Greg Eden, I thought he'd have been way away to the corner, but the Rochdale defence did well to get back. But it was just delaying the inevitable as Halifax worked the ball left to right and Matty G threw the dummy to dive over. And Jufre looking for his seventh goal of the afternoon. He's certainly high enough. And he's through the post as well. Brilliant conversion there from Louis Jufre. And Halifax have just picked up the pace this last few minutes. 34 points of difference from last week. It's 30 points difference in the in the context. It's 1895 Cup Group. And I said it last week when we move the ball about and attack from deep and wide, we look really good. As Ridyard. Spirals it again this time, but it goes towards the touchline. That's a brilliant kickoff. Fantastic kickoff once more for Martin Ridyard. As the clock is at 80 on the on the Hornet scoreboard, but that he's just a guide. And Ifax will not want to concede here. Here's Ridyard. Onto Wilkinson, Crooks comes off his flank to make the tackle. Helped out by Fairbank. The referee cries held at Rochdale. Less than 10 from the line. Andrade tries to bump off Kavanagh, and Kavanagh does well to hold on. Helped out by reinforcements to the shape of Lannan. Right on that try line. Slow play the ball. This referee will not give a penalty for anything at the rook. Loose ball from dummy half as Widdup picks up. No, he doesn't. Oh, he does. And Halifax survive. Now, will look to counter-attack from deep again. As Keyes shows some great footwork, steps out the challenge of Forster, but he comes back for more. Ridyard helped him out. Inman goes blind to Lannan. Lannan keeps hold this time. It's four men to keep him down, he grimaces. There's a grin there, knowing it takes so many on its bodies to put him down. Keys throws a dummy, tries to go through the line, but good defence there from the Rochdale. On its defensive line. Inman goes right to Widdup, Widdup. Lovely disguise ball again, and G's away again. G to Jufre, and Jufre racing away under the post. And Alifat score yet another try in this second half. What a last 10 minutes we've had from the Halifax Panthers here. And Jufre, right on full time on the hooter, takes Halifax past 50. 
50 points to 12 with a kick to come. And Drew Frey from banging front. We'll have to take this conversion. Now the Rochdale players ambling back. Jufre has to wait until they're all behind the posts. And Jufre's eighth goal of the afternoon. But it's Ifast with a 40 point victory. It looks shaky. After a quarter of an hour, after 20 minutes of the second half, when Rochdale scored twice to bring it to 28 12. But then Halifax in the last 10 minutes, four tries in the last 10 minutes, roared away for a 52 points to 12 victory. Woodburn all, Crooks with two, and then Eden, Tibbs, Kavanagh, Inman, G, and Jufre with the tries. With a well deserved victory here at Spotland. Final score at Rochdale 12, IFAS Panthers 52.